Yo ladies and gents, how's it going? My name is Jester J and today I've got something a little bit different for you. So it's been about five or six months since I started YouTube and I've not seen anyone on YouTube that has just started up like me for a couple of months now try and uh, give advice and tips to people that have literally just started or are wanting to start their own channel themselves. I've only seen videos like these from people who have like hundreds of thousands or tens of thousands etc subs on their channel. And fair play to them, they've been on YouTube for a while so you know fair play to them because they know what they're talking about. But I've not seen anyone do videos on how to get started on YouTube from sort of my level who've only been going for a couple of months now. Maybe because they're too hard to find, but I want to help you guys get started or if you have just started and are not sure where to go, then I'm here to help. Now you may be thinking, oh why is this guy doing a video on how to get started on YouTube when he's only been doing it for a short time? Well, the thing is, I actually watch a lot of YouTube myself. Like a whole friggin' lot of YouTube. Like when I'm not working, I'm pretty much just watching YouTube for the entire day. And I've been doing that for about four or five years now, so from watching that much for that long, I've learn a few things along the way. Plus I'm subscribed to about 150 channels. So these are my top tips on how to get started on YouTube. Number one, do it as a hobby. It's funny when I hear younger people say, oh I'm just going to do YouTube for a living and that's that. Well unfortunately that's not going to be the case because you're doing it for the wrong reasons. You need to have the right mindset to start YouTube and not just do it for the fame or money. And it might not even happen, so do it for the right reasons and not for the wrong ones. And if it does happen, it probably won't happen for a long time. So, as I said, do it as a hobby. Do it because you enjoy making the content you're making and have fun doing it. If you eventually have the opportunity to just purely live off YouTube, that's great, that's fantastic. But in the meantime, whilst you're getting there, you need to have some sort of income to keep you going. Unless you're still living with your parents, you lucky bastards, or if you're rich, Again, lucky bastards. Again, it's just meant to be a hobby. Well, starting out is, but down the line, who knows? Which leads me on to my second bit of advice. Number two, enjoy it. Enjoy the content you make. Don't do it for the sake of doing it, just so your channel fills up quickly. Do videos that you're proud and passionate about making. If you don't enjoy making your videos, then why would a viewer enjoy your content? With me, I like gaming, I like YouTube, so why not do both? That's why I got started on YouTube. With you, it might be different. But believe me, there is that much weird and wonderful content and channels on YouTube that you will be able to find something that you are passionate about and something that there will be an audience for. For example, you could do, I don't know, the top of my head, volleyball, horse riding, painting, gadgets, etc. And do videos and do your channel on them. Or you could do something new or combine something like cooking and dancing. I don't know how you could combine dancing and cooking, they're kind of two different things. But I'm, I'm just giving you ideas. I mean, if you do that, then well done for being creative. But what I'm basically saying is do something that you love to do and showcase that. Number three, consistency. Yes, I know, I know, I didn't upload last week, sorry by the way, but to be fair, that's my first week that I've missed since I started uploading in January, so it's not so bad. But basically, I was really busy with work and I had to go back a couple of days ago and see the family. So yeah, sorry about that, no video last week, but my schedule should be back to normal now. Unless something else comes up, but don't worry, I'll let you guys know on social media if anything happens, so don't worry. So anyways, back to being consistent. Consistency is very important because it lets viewers and subscribers know when your videos will be out so they can watch them. It's best to keep a certain schedule whether you're doing it daily, weekly, monthly. With me, I usually upload on Mondays around 4pm British time. That might change at some point, but at the moment it's 4pm on Mondays. Some people don't really have a schedule, they just upload when they want. And it's a shame because they do great videos and they just don't get the views or subscribers that they deserve. So try to do a schedule that suits you best. Number four, custom thumbnail. Make a unique custom thumbnail for your videos. A thumbnail is the first thing a viewer will see from you and it's meant to entice the viewer into clicking on your video. A thumbnail is a great first impression to a new viewer because otherwise if it's just a single frame from the video clip then it's very unlikely, unless they know you, that they will click on the video. 
If you make an interesting custom thumbnail, then it will better your chance of a new viewer clicking on your video because it shows that you put effort into all of the stuff that you make on YouTube. Number five, profile, banner and name. Like a custom thumbnail, your name, banner and profile are the first thing a viewer sees when they go onto your channel. For example, my logo is the Jester hat and I got someone to design that for me and then I added a funky background to the banner with some text. If you can't get someone to design a logo or banner for you, don't worry, it's not the end of the world, you can still do it yourself. Even if you can't do a customised logo or banner, don't worry, it's not a problem. As long as you have something there on your page for a viewer to see, then that's all that matters really. And remember, you can always change it whenever you want as well, so you can always learn to customise a logo or banner for yourself in the meantime. As long as you have something that suits your personality, brand and channel, then that's all that matters. And the profile pic is pretty much the same idea as the banner. Originally I did have the Jester hat as my profile pic as well, but I thought that was a bit too much since I already had it on the banner. So instead I put a picture of myself there so that it feels more personal and shows that you know there's a, there's a face behind the channel and it's not just a, a brand or robot. Unless you are, then good for you. And coming up with a name can be quite a long process if you're not going to use your own. With me, it actually took a couple of months to think of a name. My name is actually Jay and I wanted the, the J to go along with something that sounds unique yet snappy at the same time. So fun fact, about a month before I started back in January, I was watching The Hunchback of Notre Dame, as you do. And you know the scene at the start, the party scene, where Cosimoto comes out, where all the celebrations are happening and you see the jesters? That's when a light went off in my head and I thought, hang on, how about Jester as a name? I liked it, but there was a couple of people on YouTube that use that name, but I still liked it. So I replaced ER with A and added a J at the end and there you go, that's how I came up with my name, Jester J. And if you type me into Google, I will be the first thing that pops up. I'm also a fan of Harley Quinn, so maybe that's also how I came up with the idea as well. Number six, equipment. Okay, first things first, make sure you do your research because there's so many people out there that use all these different types of equipment and really it's just what your preference is, what you want to use and what you will be used to. Now before you actually start your channel, I do recommend that you save up a bit of money or have a bit of money to pay for certain equipment depending on what type of videos and channel you want to do on YouTube. Unless you want to record off your phone, then fair enough, go for it. But the three main types of equipment I would recommend for pretty much any video is a camera, an audio recorder and lighting. The camera I'm currently filming off is a Canon 750D, but my first camera was a Canon 550D and that is a really, really great camera for startups. It's a really fantastic DSLR for people who are looking to get their first video camera and I've been using it for about four years now or so and it's done me justice so far. So yeah, uh, Canon 550D is a great recommendation for startups. Now I use different types of audio equipment depending on what video I'm doing. If I'm doing a gameplay video, then I'm usually recording audio from these. This is the Special Edition Titanfall Triton headset. And uh, I've had it for about a year now and it, it works fantastic. Uh, someone commented on one of, my, one of my videos recently saying that the design of it sort of looks like the design on the helmets in Star Wars. And I didn't notice that until they mentioned it and I've had these for at least a year now. And for other videos, like the reaction videos i done a while ago and the video you're watching at the moment, I'm currently recording my audio off a Rode VideoMic Pro. Uh, before that I had a Tackstar shotgun mic, which was really, really like dirt cheap. And for lighting I used two big softbox lights, which didn't cost that much either. Also for all the gamers out there that are wondering how I record my gameplay, I actually use the Elgato HD60. If you'd like to see my gaming setup, then comment below and I'm sure I'll be able to do that video for you at some point in the future. I'll also link in the description all the equipment I just mentioned. Once you have the equipment, that's usually it. It's just a one-time payment and then you're ready to go. 
One video I recommend you go and watch is by one of my all-time favourite YouTubers, and that is Jeremy John's 1 million subscriber thank you video. Shout out to Jeremy John's, fantastic guy, very, very funny, I do enjoy his stuff. Anyway, basically he goes on to say uh, what equipment he uses and he goes to show you like his, his behind the scenes sort of set reveal and he basically goes on to mention that you don't need the most latest or most expensive equipment you just need to buy equipment to start off and just you can replace little bits over time if you want but he's been going for a while now and he's still using pretty much the same equipment that he did when he started so as you can see you don't need the shiniest and priciest equipment out there on the market you can still get the basic equipment and still do well on YouTube. Number seven, editing. Now to edit my videos, I use Adobe Premiere Pro, which is a paid service. But fear not people, there is free editing software out there if you can't afford it. There's Windows Movie Maker at the top of the list on PC and iMovie for Mac. Now I wouldn't say to people, oh, you should go and get Premiere Pro or you should go and get Final Cut Pro or you know, get this certain type of software because to be honest, everyone's different and everyone likes a certain piece of editing software so it's all about finding what sort of software is best for you. You can always try di like all these different sort of editing softwares and the ones that you have to pay for you can always download a free trial just to sort of test the walls and see if you like it or not or you can just go to the free service and just get that all together. Again it's whatever you prefer using. Originally when I started editing I used iMovie and then I went to Final Cut Pro and then I went to Premiere Pro when I went to uni and I'm still using that to this day. So yeah, it's all about trying different types of editing software to see what is best for you. With free editing software, it's a great introduction. It's a really great introduction to start off. Like when I started using iMovie, I thought that, that was brilliant, but then I moved on to Final Cut Pro and you know, it, then Premiere Pro and it's just with especially with paid editing services, you get a lot more in it. But for starting off, you know, for people who have like never been on an editing software before, free editing software like iMovie or Windows Movie Maker is a great, great start and I would recommend trying that if you've not edited before. They're really simple and easy to use and to learn the basics of video editing. And the thing is with editing, you never really stop, you never really stop improving your skills. Hell, I've been doing it for seven years and I'm still learning every single day. So, those were my top tips on how to get started on YouTube. You know what, I think I might do this again in January, so it'll be a year on from when I started and see what's changed. So, uh, yeah, I'll probably make this into sort of a, a series, like every six months or so. I would like to do that as well, so that it's not just, you know, this video again, oh, good luck with, you know, starting YouTube. We can maybe like go on this sort of journey together possibly. So guys, if you did enjoy today's video, then smash that thumbs up button. I think I want to do more of these types of videos as well, because originally when I set out to do you to start YouTube, I didn't just want to do gaming. Like I love gaming, gaming's my passion. You know, gaming's a great hobby for me. But I also want to do more videos like this. So if you want to see more videos like this from me as well, then yeah, smash that thumbs up button. If you didn't like the video, then hit that dislike button and tell me why in comments below so I can keep improving the channel. And if it's your first time watching and you like what you see, you can hit that subscribe button for more weekly videos. But that will do it from me. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all soon. Take care guys. Peace. Hi guys. Party in the lift. Party in the lift. Oh no. My Japanese book not, not gonna help me here. Chainsaw will.